So for now, that's it. That looks like a keeper. It is a keeper. For now, that's a keeper trout. We don't know what it will be a year from now. Hey everybody, welcome back to John Miller Fishing. Today I'm going to do a video that has a risk of being very boring. And that's because I'm going to do a review of the 2019 report uh, of the assessment of the spotted sea trout in the Louisiana waters. So if you're part of the fishing community, you know that this report came out and it's caused some tension within the community because the results of it uh, caused wildlife and fisheries to uh, make a statement that they need to make changes to the way the speckled trout stock is managed in Louisiana. They, Louisiana uh, Wildlife and Fisheries, or I guess it's really the Fishing uh, Fisheries Commission that makes the final uh, the final decision on what direction to go. But we don't know that. All we can do at this point is look at the data from the report and, and, and understand how that data was generated and how they came to the conclusions that they did. Uh, and so that, that is helpful in, in uh, letting us have a, the best possible view of the situation. So this video could be really boring, so I'm going to break this into a number of sections. And I'm going to start with the most relevant section, which is what does the data say? And why did they conclude that there need to be changes? So if we go down to page 61 of, in the report, we have this table, and this is uh, from figure 22. And this is my favorite chart which because I think it, it really sums up everything uh, this is just to explain this quickly you have uh, down on the x-axis you have the, the the spawning stock biomass this is the actual measured over a spawning stock biomass limit which was set and that limit is this red line vertical red line on the y-axis, you have fishing mortality as recorded and a fishing mortality limit. And that is this horizontal red line. And so with the fishing mortality side of it, you want to stay below the red line because uh, below the red line means that you're catching fewer fish than the limit, or you're killing fewer fish than the limit. For the spawning biomass stock, you want to stay to the right side of the limit line because that means you have more of a spawning stock than you need to maintain that. So, and before we talk more about this, let's go right to the conclusions in the report that were stated by uh, wildlife and fisheries about what they see as uh, what's going on with it and just to as a way of definition uh, they consider anything above the red line the red horizontal line as overfishing so anything here you're catching more fish than the limit anything to the left of this vertical red line is an overfished situation because you have fewer females than the selected limit which is believed to be needed to keep your uh, your stock healthy okay so if we jump to page 23 this is a couple statements that they have made in the report so in regard to the fishing mortality, so the current estimate suge is suggesting the stock is not currently undergoing overfishing. However, the current estimate is extremely close to the overfishing limit. The current assessment model also indicates that the stock has been undergoing overfishing since 2012, with the exception of 2014, 
and the terminal year, uh, and, and also experience overfishing in earlier years of the time series. Okay, so that's in regard to the fishing mortality numbers. And then in regard to the spawning stock biomass, the current estimate is suggesting the stock is currently in an overfished state. The current assessment model also indicates that the stock has been overfished since 2014. So let's go back to the actual chart and we'll see what they're talking about in the actual data. So they're saying since 2012, which is each of these dots is a year, so some of them are not identified, but uh, the, the more recent ones are. So since 2012, we're taking more fish out. We're killing more fish than the limit, meaning we're overfishing. So 2012, 2013, except for 2014, we were below the limit. Okay, great. Well, that, that's a disruption. Sorry about that. Uh, then 20, so 2015, 2016, 2017, you see all these years were above, uh, not above the limit in 2018. We were actually below, we were not in the overfishing zone. And then in regard to the overfished problem, again, overfished is in this zone. So since 2014, so right starting right here, 2014, 15, 16, this is 17, 18, we're all in the zone of the overfished. Uh, and this, by the way, this big yellow dot is like the very latest numbers in 2019. That's why it's saying we're very close to the overfishing limit. It's 0.99, but we are certainly in the area of overfish where there isn't enough biomass stock to replenish. Uh, there isn't enough spawning stock to replenish what, what they believe is needed to replenish the stock and keep it healthy. All right, so that is the first part and, and that is a rundown of what they believe the, the data, the survey says, and why they need to make a change.